We wore the top side all last week. Okay, so they had to practice. Day. Yes. Yeah? You have to. And what's the biggest difference underwater versus top side? The, the difference is that you're totally weightless. It's the first difference. The second difference, the hardest part that it is, is that you have to be able to see the puddle when you make it hot. Okay. And you have all these bubbles, which is hydrogen. Mm -hmm. And then your vision have to pass these bubbles for you to see the puddle. Then to control the puddle, then you control your speed and your angle. Okay. So it took me a while with this kids, the students, are seeing the puddle with them five minutes, with less than that, because that. This is speed. They have to get the speed. Yes. They, they, want to, right. they, they want to either go too fast or they go too slow. Right. It's just trying to get the speed and the, and angle, the angle right. Yes. Yeah, because once you, underwater, underwater, the rod and the electric is so much more intensified mm -hmm. that, the, that the, on the surface they can go real nice and slow and do their weld. And underwater, that, that rod is going to go, whoo, it's going to go like, whoo, my goodness, what happened? It, it went too fast. Mm -hmm. So it consumes, underwater, the rod consumes a lot faster. Oh, really? On the surface, you have it consuming real nice and slow. On the water, it goes real fast. You just got to lay it in there. So you really have to change your pace. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot faster underwater. A lot faster. But that's, that's, that's outstanding. That's really good. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, they know it. I told them. Are doing good? Yes, absolutely. Good job.